Hello everyone, welcome back to Living Faith Homestead. This is Jamie, and today is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day out in the garden. It's so calm and quiet and sunny. I can feel, I can feel the temperatures though, and, it, and it's just in the air. The, some of the leaves are starting to turn, and the weather is starting to shift, and the kids have had a little cold this week, and so I'm, a lot of people just love fall, but summer is my absolute favorite season. If it stayed summer all year long, I'd be so happy. So in the garden is my absolute favorite place to be. Like I could literally stay out here all day if I weren't so crazy busy with 10 million other things that I have to get done in a day. But um, this has been a beautiful, beautiful Saturday and I just think I'm gonna stay here all day. So this year we've had a huge bumper crop of tomatoes. I've already picked about 30 pounds of, of tomatoes and cut them up, put them in the freezer to save until I can harvest them all and can them all together to save a little bit of time. So today I am going to pick more tomatoes and at the end of the video, I will show you exactly how many pounds of tomatoes we have picked so far this year. All right, so I'm out in the garden. I just filled a small bucket of tomatoes and I have tons of ripe tomatoes. So I think maybe we'll be able to fill this wagon or something. So um, we're gonna try. I just got back from Maine. We had a long weekend and um, went on a little vacation, come back and I have tons of ripe tomatoes. These brandywine tomatoes get humongous. I weighed just one of them last week and I had one that was one and a half pounds. So that is wicked awesome. I love these tomatoes. And they got, and they're ripe and they got this pink color to them. They're more of a pink than red. Got a couple there. So before I went to Maine, I actually harvested a bunch and put them in the freezer because I like to take care of all my tomatoes at once and I usually can them all. So I'll put these with it and I can probably get canning tonight or at least starting the process. All right, so I've been working for about 20 minutes and got all of these so far and I still have a lot more that are ripe so I think we are actually going to fill this wagon today this has been an amazing year for tomatoes here we just have tons and tons of them and I grew way too many of the little grape tomatoes like this size but that's okay because I just throw them right in the sauce too I just can them up or we just eat them like that. These are all the little ones here on this side. There's one hiding. It has definitely been a really hot, dry summer, and it's been perfect for tomatoes with the heat anyway. But I haven't had a water at all because I have so much mulch on the 
soil. And the secret to growing tons and tons of nice tomatoes is your soil. Good soil makes good tomatoes. The chickens are also getting some because some of them I didn't get to in time and they were a little bit eaten by something. I have I still have a lot of tomatoes that are green still. And they're actually ripening up early this year for our area. Usually I'm fighting the frost and sometimes I have to pick them green, bring them in the house to ripen them up. And that's not always doable. So, but this year they are ripening up just perfectly outside. So I'm wicked excited about that. A huge blessing because we use so many of them and a lot of times I am buying them from the Amish just so that I have enough to can but this year I am not going to need to buy any from the Amish at all. And the great thing about this is I can't even believe how many tomatoes I'm getting because I had to replant at the beginning of June because um, we had that frost that came right at the beginning of June. So we killed off all the plants they already had in the ground, so I had to replant. And now, like, I just can't believe that they're ripe already, actually. So many are ripe. And I'm probably gonna be able to like fill that wagon like again. All right, so here are the brandy wines. They are still um, ripening up slowly, but they're still ripening. And we still have quite a few of them on the vine. They're, they're, the good thing about the brandy wines is that they are a really big, nice sized tomato. But the bad thing, if you can them, you're really gonna have to cook them down because they are very, very watery, very juicy. So even, even if you're gonna add tomato paste, like I would cook them down more if you, but I love this variety. They are just great, great tomatoes. I usually like to use the Romas for canning, but for some reason, I, I didn't have any Romas in the garden this year, which I usually do have tons of them. But I must have not grown that variety this year. I even have some that are kind of laying on the ground because they um, fell over because they're just, they're so heavy. The tomato is so heavy that it just kind of, even though they were staked up, they kind of, um, all over anyway. So we got more over here. Still looking nice. So if we are gonna have a frost in the next few days, then I'm definitely going to just take these in and ripen them inside. Still so many tomatoes on the vine still. Looking so good. still have a lot of green ones and some weeds mixed in. But I am so surprised that this time of the year that the tomato plants, a lot, most of my tomato plants are still looking just beautiful and nice and green and still flowering, even though the ones that are flowering will never make it. 
unless of course we skip over winter, which would be great. All right, so even my compost tomatoes are actually doing really well. <laughs> so we got some in here, all different kinds. I don't know, some cherry tomatoes down there. But they're in good stuff. And they're still flowering. I'm just gonna let them go because all the compost in the bottom, I'm just actually gonna put in the garden anyway. So in the fall. All right, our wagon is now full and I still have tons of tomatoes on the vine. So I am going to be able to do this again. Okay, so today from the wagon of what I picked, just the wagon load was 74 pounds of tomatoes, which is really, really exciting. So now I have a ton of work to do getting them canned and um, put away for the winter. So I'm really excited because this is like the, the largest crop I've ever had of tomatoes and I still have tons and tons of more on the vine that are still ripening. So I can't wait until um, I get the final number. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me this week on this episode of Shed Wars, and I will see you again hopefully tomorrow because I'm going to harvest potatoes today and see what we got going on under there. Because I did grow them under hay this year, so I just want to see um, how many pounds of potatoes we were able to get from just a few sprouted potatoes from indoors. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.